welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janae. I run a blog called Hilo Lux and I focus on luxury beauty, fashion, and travel. And today we are doing my closet tour. Finally, I know I've been saying I'm gonna do it forever, but I just wanted everything to be perfect for you. So I'm gonna walk you through each section and talk about how I organized it, what's in there, and kind of my thought process. Um, if you don't know, this is from Ikea. It is called the Pack System. If you type it into YouTube, there are a million videos. Now there are a million and one. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoy. Leave any questions below if I don't answer something. Um, just to get a few details out of the way, this is a movable unit. So for me, um, I do live in an apartment or condo so um, until I have a house I probably will just move this from place to place I've moved this twice um, it's just like a big piece of furniture you just move um, a section at a time so it is movable if you are curious about that and um, a unit my size would be around two thousand dollars twenty five hundred depending on how you customize it um, the type of shelves you want um, how many shelves you want rods all that stuff I can't give you an exact price because I did add on to mine over time. So I started with three units and that was around $1,500 at the time. And I added on as my space grew. So right now I have five units in total. They're all different sizes and depths. So that's also an option too, depending on how deep you want it. Um, Cause it will take up more of your space. I have the deepest option. So you'll see that when we um, like look at the shoes and stuff like that, mine go back pretty far. I think, I think that's everything, all the specifics, um, but we're gonna jump right into the video. And of course, I forgot to mention my outfit. I'm trying to get better, guys. Okay, so this dress is from Choosy. I think I've mentioned it um, before. You can wear it up or down, and I think it's like 50 or 60 bucks, so like, super cute, and I don't have on any shoes because we're in my house. So <laughs> without further ado, let's get into the closet. Okay guys, so we are gonna start with the shoe section. So um, up top here, you can see I have my boots. Um, I have a pair of Givenchy Shark boots, um, just a pair of, I think those are Aldo boots, a pair of Sling boots and Zara boots. And then coming down, these are my two favorite uh, Forever 21 heels. Um, some heels, I think I got those from Shein. I have them in two colors and then some Zara heels. Um, here we have this big opening where I just have, um, these are kind of like my inspiration pictures. You can see they're like very much like what I love to wear, blazers, um, silk shirts, um, flowy dresses, jumpsuits, uh, very much my vibe. <laughs> so I just like to look at those, they inspire me. Um, and then I just have uh, like my wallet and a candle and this is just um, some lipstick there. And these are um, two books that I look for when I need inspiration. My Boo, she published a magazine, Monroe Steel, and then this is Tezza's Insta Style. So anytime I need some inspo, I look at those. Um, I do turn over my closet quite a bit. So in the winter time, this is where I would have boots. So that's why it's such a big opening and feels like a waste of space, but really it's not because uh, I don't have as many summer shoes as winter shoes. Down here, I have my tennis shoes. So I have my Gucci Aces, uh, Louis Vuitton Arch Lights. I have the monogram print and the neon. And then in the back, I just have um, a basic pair of white um, sneakers, a black pair, and then my my faux Balenciaga sock shoes. I don't know what they're called, but those are mine. And then down here, we have heels. These are some Zara heels. I have Chanel Mules, um, Dior Slingbacks pair of Manolo Blahniks, and then a few just like random shoes back there that I don't wear that much, but I like to keep just in case I ever need them. And then down here, another pair of Manolo Blahniks, and then three pair of Balenciaga Knife Mules. I love those shoes. They're extra, but they're also comfy. And then back there, I have a pair of Dolce & Gabbana sneakers, um, a pair of little feathery shoes, and I think those heels are from Topshop. Yes. And then right below it, I have some Chanel slingbacks, um, three pair of Gucci loafers. Those have the back and then the two Prince Towns. Um, you can see those are like really wore down because they're my favorite shoes. And then back there are two pair of shoes I barely wear. One's from Zara and the pink ones are from Forever 21. I've never worn them, but you know, one day when I have my hot girl summer, I'll wear them. And then lastly are a few pair of sandals. I don't wear sandals a ton because I just don't find them that comfortable. But I do have these um, Zara shoes that are extremely comfortable. My Dior slides, a pair of St. Laurent slides. Um, I think I got those pearl shoes from Shein, which are really cute. They are kind of like 
um, a dupe of the Miu Miu sandals and then Zara heels and then those I just got from Amazon to match a dress that I still haven't worn it with but if that day comes I'll have it ready and then over here to the side you can see I have two extra shelves so if I ever do need to um, add them in here that's what I would use it for so I, I like to I move this around a lot so I always have extra shelves floating around so yeah those are my shoes and again, in the winter time, I would have boots here. Um, and if it's about um, three across, so I would have six pair of boots and that's more than enough for me. So yeah, we will move on to the next section. So I did want to share a few of my favorites um, because you guys know I'm, I'm a shoe girl. I love shoes. And a few of my favorites, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what I'm going to say, are the Louis Vuitton arch lights. I have two pair. And I love them. These I actually got on Fashion File because they were sold out everywhere, everywhere once I, you know, decided I wanted them. Um, and I got this size and actually a 38 and a half. And this size is a 38, but not that much of a difference. Um, and then I got the neon ones because I just could not stop thinking about them. These are definitely easier to wear, um, but these are just more fun to wear. So I get a, a lot of use out of both of them. Um, my next favorite shoes are my Balenciaga knife mules. These shoes, like I have legit been made fun of so many times when I wear these out, like not like to my face, but like I can see people staring at these and I don't care, like I love them. Um, and so I love them so much, I bought them in white and I bought them in burgundy with the double Bs. I actually bought these in Paris and I was just like, it's just too excited. So those are definitely my favorite shoes. And then lastly, you can probably tell because I have three pair are the Gucci Prince Town Loafers because this is the most comfortable shoe on earth. Um, I have the this pair I bought in Athens, Greece and they have like a little bedazzled and they are in suede. And then I have the cream pair which are just, they've been through it. I've had them for two years so for a white pair of shoes it's not too bad. And then I have the red pair with the, look you can fold the back down. And I bought these in Paris also. So those are my Favorite pairs of shoes. Moving on to the next section. Up here I have my hats. And I don't typically keep that many boxes, but that's my first ever Chanel purchase in store. So I have that box, which is just empty. And then these are all of my tops. So I do like to color coordinate. So as you can see, we start with blacks, we go to blues, browns, the few colors I have, pink and yellow, and then we finish with white. I've been working on switching over my hangers from the wooden ones to the white ones, but I'm also just not that pressed about it. So it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I do have them kind of mixed. I have long sleeve, short sleeve, but these are kind of shirts that I can wear mostly year round. I'll take out like the crop tops um, once summer is over. Um, and I'll show you where I store my out of season outfits as well or items. So in this section, we have my accessories. So we'll start over here. Um, I have a few Michelle watches and then these are just extra bands that I have with them. These bows are from Zara. I have my Dior friendship bracelets and then just a bunch of random bracelets I've gotten from like traveling. And then I have headbands. Uh, these are all from Zara. So love those. Headbands are huge right now. <laughs> and then this is my jewelry. I don't have a ton. I'm pretty minimalist. You guys know my Celine necklace with the J. Um, we have a few hair clips there. These little jewels are actually, um, you can put them on shoes. So I haven't worn them yet, but I thought they would be a fun accessory at some point so and then i just have a rose gold watch a black watch i don't really wear but you know in case i ever need to so that is my jewelry and then in the next drawer we have sunnies which i love so um the first pair of these are by tom ford i actually got those in um, italy and then these are super popular. <laughs> They're by Free People. They're really old and they don't make them anymore, but I love them. They're like very retro and 70s vibes. Um, these are Celine. These are my Forever 21 Sunnies that I love. Um, both of these pairs, I cannot remember where I got them from, but if I can, I'll link them below. Those are my Fendi round sunglasses, another Forever 21 special. My Porsche design sunglasses. 
Um, I think both of these are from Amazon here. Um, these are also from Amazon, but they kind of are a dupe for the YSL sunglasses. Another, oh, hello. <laughs> Another pair of Forever 21 Sunnies and then Amazon. Um, I love to shop for sunglasses on Amazon, especially if there is a trend or a style that's um, designer and I'm not sure about it. So like these are kind of a dupe for the Gucci sunglasses, which I really loved, but I just wasn't sure I'd get enough use out of them. And to no, to my surprise, well, not really a surprise, I didn't wear them. Like I've bought these just to try them and I've never worn them, so. Good thing I didn't buy the Gucci ones. These are lenses for my uh, Porsche Design Sunnies, so you can switch the lenses out. So these are my extra lenses. These are just super extra. I got these from Forever 21, and they're really in the Big Shield sunglasses. So again, trying the trend um, at a very affordable alternative. And then these are just all of my sunglass cases. So that is that, and these little dividers. Um, I did purchase separately, so um, as well as these. So you can kind of, this is how you can customize your drawers depending on what you prefer. So, and I switch these out all the time too. Um, at one point I had three of these across and then I took them all out and didn't have any and now I have these. Um, so, and they have different colors as well. And then in this drawer, this is where I keep some of my smaller bags. I have this product clutch that I got in Canada in Montreal, yeah. Um, this is like my first ever designer purchase <laughs> that I don't really wear that much, but sentimental value. Um, my little Fendi baguette, and then I have a little Prada, it's, it's called a phone case actually. And then this is where I keep um, my wallets back here, and then also just my tech gear. So that's my tripod, my mini tripod for my phone, another mini tripod for my phone, and then like camera bags. And I also keep all of my perfume in here. I have an extra um, lens there. And then this is where I keep my everyday makeup. So all of my makeup every day is in here and my brushes are in here. So when I want to do my makeup, I just grab these two and sit down at my desk. And also I like to keep it in there. So when I travel, I have everything ready to go. And in here, I just have undies and pajamas. Nothing special to see there. Undies and pajamas. <laughs> and then in this one I have, it's full. I have all of my workout clothes. And I'm sorry I didn't reorganize it for you. But sweatshirts, uh, workout pants, sports bras, you know, all that jazz. And then down here, I just have like shorts, skirts, tank tops, crop tops, those kind of things. And in the winter, this will be uh, my sweaters. So that is what's in there. Pretty simple. So we'll move on to the guys. We are on to the third section and I actually wanted to talk through this because I wanted to show you a couple of my favorites because you know blazers are my thing. So this is my blazer section and I wanted to show the amount of thrifted blazers I have because you can get some quality pieces for like little to no money. So um, again, these are color coordinated and a few of my favorites are this one which is from the men's section I got for I want to say like 15 bucks and then also this one which was a women's suit and um, if you saw my thrifting video I cut this into shorts but I love like the detail it has like um, a pattern but also like this gold detailing in it so that is one of my favorites this brown one actually still has a tag on it, but I mean, I just got it, so I'm pretty excited to wear it. $9.99 for like a structured oversized blazer, which will go perfectly with like all of the fall outfits. And what else? Oh, I got this nice gray one. It's double breasted, like so chic, oh my God. And it has like a very subtle um, print. And oh, lastly, this blue one, which is Oscar de la Renta, I believe. Yes. And this is from the men's section as well. Um, navy, which I love. So I just wanted to talk through that because I have recently fallen in love with thrifting and my, you can see like my blazer section is getting a little out of control, um, but they're all classics and I'll wear them forever. So just wanted to talk through that and we will keep going to what's below. And below my blazers, we have um, skirts and pants. So uh, let me come this way so you can get a better view. Um, I have just denim here, mostly denim, and then a few pair of dress pants that I don't wear that much, and then just my slip skirts at the end. And I love this thing. I actually recently added this piece, so that's the great thing. Um, I used to have just shelves here, and I had my denim folded and my pants hung um, in another section. 
but then I just thought um, I'd try this thing out and see if I liked it, um, and I do, and I think it's a great space saver also. And then below that, I just have a few pair of sandals that I don't get that much wear out of, so I put them there to try to like remind myself to wear them because they can get a little lost tucked all the way in the back. Okay guys, next up um, is my kind of long hanging section. So these are my um, jackets, like anything that I could probably wear in summer if it's a little chilly. And then mostly um, dresses and any like really long skirts or like jumpsuits or anything like that. Uh, probably my favorites from this section um, would be this dress, which is from Ghani. And I absolutely, let me turn it around. There we go. I absolutely adore it. I got it in the um, sale and it's gonna be great for fall too. And I've worn it in the summer, so great value for money. Um, what else is a favorite? Oh, this skirt, I'll pop a little picture in here. I just got this in Capri and I wore it as a dress. I wore it as a skirt, super versatile and it's real linen, amazing quality. Um, oh, and this little dress also is a favorite that i'll pop a picture in of course i'm actually this is from rent the runway <laughs> and i this is like one of the first things i rented and i, I have the unlimited plan and i've just kept it for like <laughs> a month so far i'm hoping i'll just get sick of wearing it and be over it because I, right now i really want to buy it and it's four hundred dollars <laughs> so those i believe are my my favorites from this section um let's get into the drawers up top i just have two handbags that i don't wear that much so and they're bigger so i just store them up there my balenciaga city bag which was my first ever handbag purchase and then this is a leather bag by an italian brand but they don't make bags anymore so i couldn't find i used it in my workwear video but then i couldn't find it um but i got it from tj maxx a few years ago and then down here i just have like my two mini bags I have my Fendi um, little bucket bag with the Fendi strap. And then this is actually from Target. It's the Who What Wear collection. Um, and I just store them there for easy kind of like grabbing. And then down here, I have another one of those trays in. And this is just where I store my belts. So I am a belt person. I love to cinch that waist in. So um, this kind of helps me um, stay organized. They don't always look like this, of course, but you know. Today they do, they do. And then in here I just have hats and then I have like some scarves and then a few other small belts that I don't wear that much. A few gloves. Um, and in the winter time, this will be mostly gloves and like scarves, like thicker scarves. And then down here I have all of my t-shirts. I love a good t-shirt, so I have quite a few. And then at this bottom one, it's just a lot of travel stuff. So these are like, I, I never unpack my travel things to make sure I always have them. So like, this is all my like mouth stuff. <laughs> and then this is like sunscreen stuff. This is hair stuff. So I always have everything I need because I never take it out um, unless I need to replace something because it's run out. And then those are my Fendi boots. I just kind of keep out because I do wear those in the summer too. And then that little Gucci bag is where I keep all of my receipts for all of my luxury purchases in case I ever want to sell something. So that is this section. Okay guys, we are over in the handbag section. So I do wanna share my favorite handbags. I don't like to like let them know there's favorites, but I'll, I'll let you know. We'll just try to make sure they don't hear us. So my new favorite has got to be this beauty, which is the newest bag in my collection. It is a uh, Chanel flap in the medium size in lambskin. I don't want them to hear but I have worn this bag non-stop it, it was just the pop of color that I needed into my collection and it just it is lambskin so it is a little delicate but it just feels so supple like you feel like you're getting your money's worth and I like that um, and the gold just kind of makes it really elegant but I also just throw this on crossbody sometimes and I still feel like really put together so that is my new favorite um a, like always favorite is also a Chanel flap because that's my favorite handbag style and it is this um, green patent medium flap and I just love it. It has silver hardware so that kind of like mixes it up for me. I don't have a lot of silver hardware. I don't wear silver a lot so when I need something that's neutral with silver I usually go for this. And then lastly I would have to say my last favorite is also Chanel. I know I'm biased. It's my favorite brand for handbags and it is my um, 
Gabrielle backpack in the white and black and this is in the small size and it has the it has actually four tone hardware it has um, like a brushed gold a brushed um, like a gunmetal and then a shiny gold and a shiny silver and I just have worn this so much. I've traveled with it. Um, I took it to Tulum with me. I took it to Italy with me. And every time I've gotten something on it, it just wipes right off. So that was like my biggest concern. So I'm very pleased with that. And it will be a classic forever. So those are my favorites, but we'll go through all the handbags. on the other side of the closet and I'll walk you through everything over here um, I got this rug from Ikea the desk is also from Ikea the chair is from home goods and then the little plant is from Michaels those pictures the two pictures are from Decenio and then this big mirror um, where I do like my, my selfies and outfit of the days is from Ikea as well and then the circle mirror above my desk is from Target right next to my bags i just have this little rack um it's from amazon i'll try to link it below and on that i usually just keep um any campaigns i'm working on so over there there's something from um white house black market and then any outfits that i haven't worn yet or anything i want to make sure i take pictures in and then coming over here this is my office area that i just showed you um i do want to show you kind of how i store my makeup i do have to make this like mainly an office workspace <laughs> um but just for storage purposes i do have my makeup here since this is where i do my makeup most days so in here it's it's somewhat organized <laughs> somewhat um in here i have um all of my foundations this is a powder foundation and then these are all liquids or bb creams and then in here i have uh, mostly my eye products eye pencils um, eyeliners and then in here I have just some powders I have all of my lashes there and then all of my palettes there um, these are eyeshadow palettes and then I have these are just extra brushes that I don't get that much use out of um, but just like to have on hand in case my other ones are dirty and then over here are a lot of my glow products so these are all like liquid highlights or like things to prep your skin with um, a highlight palette and then in here I keep all of my um, lip products so these are all just lipsticks lip liners all of that jazz um, so this is super helpful I have my makeup bag and I bring that over to do my makeup every day but then if I want to try anything new or do something a little different I can just pull this out and everything I need is right here so that is my office area that is it that is my closet tour slash sharing my office tour um i hope this was helpful um if you have any other questions or i didn't answer something of course leave it below and i will do my best to answer it i hope you enjoy it and as always if you stuck around this long make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so you never miss a video check me out on instagram at hilo Lux and read my blog hilolux.com thank you so much for stopping by see ya